Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of T-Dog RC. I'm Tim and in this episode we're going to be getting back into a bit of FPV. It's been a little while since I've uh, done an FPV project but I thought I'd kick the year off uh, by building this which is the uh, Atom RC Swordfish. Um, I had, I've had this for a couple of months but um, as you can see this is a completely sealed box. I've not actually had a chance to open it yet. Um, and I'm going to be building this out with um, a Matek F405 wing flight controller, iNav uh, and a DJI uh, system, which I'm actually going to take out one of my other FPV wings that I don't really fly anymore. Um, so we'll go through and have a look what's in the box and we'll also have a look at the kit that I'm going to be putting in it as well. If this is the first time you've come across the channel and you're into fixed wing RC, um, that can be FPV, Bolzer, electric, nitro, EDFs, all that sort of stuff, then you want to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy what I'm doing on the channel, then please uh, give me a thumbs up and hit the like button um, and also click the bell icon and then you'll be notified when I bring the next video out. Right, let's get this on the bench and let's have a look what we've got in the box. Right, let's get this box open. I suspect that this is an outer box. No, this is the actual box. Now, one of the things that really appealed to me, um, the reason why I've gone for this is, well, A, I've watched some other reviews and I understand it's a really good flyer. Very efficient with the battery, flies really nice and smooth. But I also like the fact it's a twin because I've not actually got a twin. Um, and I've not, not got any sort of bolster kits, twins or anything like that because they tend to be quite big so I thought this is actually going to be quite a nice thing why not have um, a little FPV twin still hand launch obviously um, let's, I'm just checking that I haven't actually uh, cut through the anything but uh, when I was undoing the box but I haven't so that's fine so yeah the wings are actually, um, it look, kind of looks a lot bigger um, this actually looks quite small when you look at this. Okay, so this is the uh, PMP version, but it um, you still have to do a fair bit yourself. So I think you just, it's not technically, it's not PMP. I wouldn't class it as it's sort of ARTF really, um, because it comes with all the components, but uh, you still have to install everything, but that's that's fine. Um, so little wing there, like I say, it's, it's quite a bit smaller than um, you, you kind of expect it's going to be. Um, foam hinges, um, so we'll need to make sure that they're nice and smooth and maybe put a little bit of tape to, to reinforce those as well. The foam looks, you know, pretty thin. But these are nice, so the horns there, uh, the double type with, um, as you can see, a carbon strip going through the horns as well. Um, so I like those because then you can probably put a, a ball joint between them and you get a really nice secure fastening. And a nice little motor mount there, plastic doubler on them, plastic doubler on the end. There's even, looks like we're going to have to put the the uh, wind, wing joining mechanism in as well. So it looks like there's actually quite a lot to do, even though it's, as I say, it's a PMP version. So we've got another wing. Just check that, that all looks okay, which it does. It's nicely packed. More foam packaging there. A lot. Sometimes these uh, FPV models can be kind of thrown in the box, um, but this one's very nicely packed. It's got foam supports. Uh, everything's bubble wrapped. So we've got a couple of props here. Oh, we've got four props, that's nice. So we've got a couple of spares there, clear props. Just looks like a bag, doesn't it, on the, on the camera, but there are four props in there. Um, let's get the fuselage out. Let me just get this open. Nice little fuselage there. 
love the uh, shape of that nose. Um, I think the camera um, is meant to be mounted. It's not necessarily right in the nose, but I've seen a few people modify this and put the camera in the nose, but um, I'll have to have a look at that and decide what I'm gonna do. It has got a, a single wheel there, a bit like a glider. Um, and then again, some plastic doublers where the wings join on. And then this canopy has got like a thumb screw, so it's not a magnetic one, um, but that's quite nice. I quite like that because you know it's nice and secure. So we've got a few bits inside here. Let's see what we've got. So plenty of room in the canopy there, and that's actually quite a neat touch. They've put like a little uh, ruler in there um, so you can see where you want to mount things and, and the position. Um, then the space along the top here, I think this is probably for like the GPS module to go in here, uh, and then probably the, the uh, VTX in there, but we'll, we'll have a look. Not exactly sure, like I say, how I'm going to lay it out. Uh, ah, yeah, and there's another canopy there as well in the box, which has got a mounting, I guess, for a, a camera on there. Which is probably the way I'm going to go with it, I think, rather than modifying the nose. So in the bag, we have got some ball joints, some tiny little push rods, battery strap, um, some covers for this servo exits and looks like some sort of uh, plastic fins um, which probably go on the back somewhere I should think uh, I don't know, we'll, we'll find out and then we've got another bag with I don't know if that's a spare bag actually because it looks like it's got a motor mounting probably some of the FPV mounting stuff and some more fun fun screws and things uh, and then I'm guessing that potentially that's some 3d printed bits and again they they're probably for mounting some camera equipment or FPV equipment so let's get the canopy back on and then we'll have a look what else we've got in here Big carbon wing spar, pretty chunky thing. And then we've got some tail pieces. Let's just get these out of the bag. So the other thing that's quite cool about this, of course, is it's a V-tail. Um, so these are both horizontal and vertical stabilizers, so to speak. And a similar setup to the wings, um, except we've got a single control horn there, but it is the um, elevator stroke rudder is reinforced with a carbon spar. Again, and there's a carbon spar running through the middle there as well. Um, foam hinges, uh, and then you've just got the plastic doublers on the mounting points there. So fairly straightforward. Um, it's push rods, so the servos for these actually go in the fuselage. And then we've got an instruction manual, so fairly basic, but hopefully we'll be able to figure it all out. Install the air on servo, yep, yeah, so it is definitely... When I first opened it, I wasn't sure whether I'd been sent the wrong kit, um, but it does look like... Um, you do have to put the servos in and everything yourself. Uh, yeah, and it does show you a picture here of um, mounting the camera. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, yeah, there is actually, um, I think it's designed for um, a DJI system there um, because it kind of shows, it looks like a bit of a DJI type setup there with the that's what those 3D printed bits will be for. So that actually looks like it goes on on the top there, not on the canopy. Um, so anyway, we'll, we'll have a look at that. You can of course get this with um, a flight controller, which I think is basically a Matek one, but they brand it as a Atom RC one. So they've got some information on that included in there as well. And then of course we've got some stickers, and decals. So we will be using those. And then lastly then, 
we have got Motion ESC pack, it says. Um, so I'm guessing that's the ESC in there. No. Oh, yes it is. Okay, interesting. So the ESC is just like that. So we've also got to do some soldering. <laughs> this is definitely not PMP at all. Um, that's fine. I mean, I'm pretty uh, good with soldering, but that begs the question, have they included things like um, XT60s or anything like that? Doesn't look like they have, which I've got a load of them, but just thinking, if you bought this thinking that you're gonna be able to just plug it in and go, and go flying, that's definitely not the case. Um, some servo, well, they'll be to go on the these ESCs, I assume. Uh, I'm assuming there's a there's a soldering diagram in that manual. And then we've got the motors. So these motors are 1700 kV 2306. So nice little motors actually. Nice and uh, compact. So yeah, looks like we have got a fair bit of work to do. But that's fine, I don't mind that. Doesn't look like they've included any uh, heat shrink or anything like that for the uh, ESCs either. So I'll uh, I'll be putting some of that on. And then lastly in the box, we've got the servo pack. And these look like some little nine gram digital metal geared as well. So they're quite nice little servos that they've included. Um, and then all the accessories. So four of those. Um, so two for the tail, two for the air runs. So that's fine, that's all there, everything we need. I guess the, the way they've done this is, um, you know, a lot of FPV people like to obviously do a lot of their own builds and put their own systems in and stuff like that. So it probably appeals to those sorts of people, but it's just, uh, as I said, when you're expecting something to be PMP, you kind of think um, it's you're gonna be able to pretty much put your VTX in and camera gear and um, and go and fly it, but um, that's not the case with this. So that's just something to be aware of. So I'll get this put back in the box um, and then we'll just have a look at the other kit that I'm going to be putting in. Just a quick one, um, I've just found at the bottom of the fuselage there's another hatch here and in here I can see that there's a bunch more electronics. So, looks like we have got XT60s, as I would have expected. Gosh, there's all sorts of stuff in here. So, a whole bunch of cables. Looks like there's some power cables in there, servo connectors. Um, then there's, oh, they, there's two XT60s and a couple of XT30s. Um, there's these quick release things as well that they put in there. So they go on the end of the, uh, on the root of the wings to just allow you to plug those in. Um, so it looks like, looks like those things go on the back um, but then there must be an, another, maybe that's inside the wing, don't know, but there must be the plug on the other side as well. But yeah, okay, so we've got all those bits anyway. And then there's also some covers in here for the, because it's got uh, some lights on it as well, so there for the wing tips I'm guessing. Okay, so just to wrap this video up just to show you um, the kit that I'm going to be putting in it. I've just um, ripped this out of an old wing that I'm actually going to sell. It's actually uh, one of the massive Zeta FX79 wings um, that I don't really fly anymore. Um, so I've taken the board out of this, which as I've mentioned is a Matek F405 wing. And I actually did quite a nice job of soldering this up if I do say so myself. So. Um, 
I put like these Dupron connectors on um, for the, for example, to power the VTX and the uh, transmit and receive. Um, so that's quite nice. I've got a Turnergy speed controller already plugged into this one, so I'm going to have to desolder that. Um, and connect that up to the two ESCs that are included, but that gives me a spare ESC. Um, and I've already got XT60 on this, so that's good. GPS as well, and again, I used one of the use one of the Dupont connectors to to wire that up. So that is actually just a four four way uh, connector there, going straight in. But obviously, I'll just leave that as it is as well. And that's a chunky uh, GPS. It's still got the uh, hot glue on it there from where it was glued into the other one. Um, that's a BN280 GPS with a little battery backup, um, so that's good. And then we've got the VTX, which, as I said, I'm using DJI, so this is a DJI Air unit. This is uh, some contraption I did for, I um, can't remember what model I had this on now, it was just a standard fixed wing and I just put VTX on with a pan servo. Um, I won't be using any of that, but I'll, um, I will take this out and um, I've got a little 3D printed thing there as well for the actual um, air unit. Um, I do just need to change the wiring though because all I've got on this one is it's just going to power so we have a little voltage regulator on, on there um, but obviously I want the uh, input and output so I can see the graphics on the screen so I'm gonna have to get hold of another DJI connector to do that and then in terms of receiver um, I'm gonna go with Crossfire I think on this one since I've already got the spare receiver, I may as well use that. So that's going to be a straight swap straight into the swordfish. So yeah, got a few little bits to sort out here. Uh, and then obviously got to get the swordfish assembled as well. So going to be probably a couple of videos actually on this. I thought it was just going to be like one assembly video and then perhaps one um, just putting all the gear in. But it's probably going to be maybe two or three videos, I think. Um, so if that floats your boat, then please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button, then you'll be notified when I bring the next one out. Um, thank you very much to all those people who have subscribed already. I really appreciate your support. Loads of stuff planned for the channel this year in 2024. So we're going to kick off with this as a little FPV project, project, but then we'll be going back to doing some bolts of stuff. Um, I've got all sorts of bolts of kits to build. Um, I do also have uh, an Atom RC Dolphin, which um, was on special offer. So um, I just decided to buy that because, again, I've seen some really good reviews. But um, that's probably going to be a bit later on in the year because I've got a spare VTX to put in that. But, I, but I've just got to sort um, a few other little bits out as well for that one. Um, but not in a rush to get that one set up. But it would certainly be uh, nice to get this uh, this swordfish done because I'm quite looking forward to uh, flying this one. So, yeah, there we are. Uh, fairly quick video to kick things off and I'll see you soon for the next one.